Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Whole time I was reading this chapter, I kept hearing some of these things on my head. You know what I'm talking about. It's the one that goes like. Okay, okay, let me, let's get on with this goddamn chapter, alright? Okay, so the chapter starts off basically where everybody's shouting and bitching and moaning about the fight between Sanji and Jaji. But we see the effects of the beatdown Sanji put on Youngji. Who, um, as we find out, is Sanji's younger brother. But um, they're like basically the same age because they were all born the same day. So he's not that much younger than Sanji. Probably just a couple of minutes or hours or whatever. But Sanji, but that, that nigga Youngji was so confused. He was like, I don't even understand what the hell was happening. Like, I'm, <laughs> he was never that strong before. <laughs> but it's good to see Sanji put the smack down on him. Let's hope he does the same to Niji and Itg. Also, the doctor was hella weird. Like, what the fuck was he doing? He was beating him with a hammer, putting him in the press. What kind of technology? What kind of fucking doctor is that? Like, the hell, if Chopper would have seen his doctor in Mac, this Chopper would have been like, what the fuck, stop? Yeah. Hey, that's probably why this doctor is introduced, this arc. He might run into Chopper. Either Chopper would learn something, or Chopper's gonna tell him how fucked up his methods are. Who, who knows? But that shit was weird as hell to me. Also, we have a new piece of information. Apparently, the suits that Sanji, the Veen Smokes wear are called raid suits. I, I know they've never said that before. So, raid suits are a thing. What they do, I don't know. But apparently, there's some shit. Because everybody was like, oh my god, he's fighting and judging. He's like using a raid suit. And I was like, what the fuck is a raid suit? And why would Sanji need that? But do you know who Sanji is? I think, uh, okay, uh, let me not Sanji fanboy here. I'm going to do a video about Sanji fanboyism. But Sanji, he don't need no suit. He can fly. And it's, can catch on fire. Oh my god. So what, what continues for the rest of this fight is basically a bunch of dialogue we've heard before. You know, Jaji and Sanji, Sanji, how dare you kick your own father. And then Sanji was just like, man, I already told you, you guys are my family. And he's been saying it a lot, so I'm pretty sure he definitely means it after seeing his flashback. I know for a fact he means it. Sanji doesn't care about his family. And he'll kick him. He, like, he, he goes on to repeat over and over again, yeah, I'm only here to get Big Mom to back off my crew and I'm out, that's it, I'm done. And speaking of Sanji's flashback, damn, that was fucked up. He just got bullied and beat on. But see, that's bullying. He just got bullied and beat on. His family didn't do anything to help him. His dad didn't help. I don't know where his mom was. Reiju just fucking laughed at him. Kind of missed, That kind of pissed me off, man. Reiju was just like, damn, I thought you was the cool one. Like, I don't know. And speaking of cool... He may have been like a little, t he may have been like a, what, a five-year-old, however old he was, but that was the first, and I think the only time we'll ever see Sanji throw a punch at someone. It wasn't very effective. But yeah, I mean, I get Sanji's motivation, man. Like, he, his father was talking some mad shit to him. You're a disgrace, you're not even worth saving, you're a piece of shit, Sanji. It was just sad to see, I was like, well, how do you treat your children like that? Come on, man. It's not like Sanji had bad intentions or bad, or, or he was a bad child. Yeah, he was feeding rats. That's cute. Like, as a parent, you should be happy your child is so compassionate and comparing. But I'm not judging. Nigga's an asshole. He was like, well, you're showing sympathy and compassion for other things? You're a dick. I don't like you. <laughs> and he let his sons beat on him. And I understand why Sanji left now. At first, I was curious to what the hell made Sanji want to leave so young. But, you know, being locked in cages, being beat on, being bullied, your father don't give a shit about you. I get it, man. I get it. I know why he left. Man. I just want to know how he ended up on his ship. But, hey, it's a good thing Sanji ended up with Zeph, right? But, yeah, the fight keep going on, and then, you know, J Jaji was really surprised. He's like, what the hell? Who taught you how to use high key? My man Ivankov. What? Words of my man Ivankov. But Sanji's like, you know how to use high key? Because Sanji straight up blocked that spear with just his leg. Now, well, Sanji's pants are black, and that I couldn't really tell all the way to the anime. But I don't know if he used the hardening technique. I'm aware of the fact that Sanji can use armament hockey. It's been stated many times. He's been proven when he kick, when he beats on Caesar. It's just, you know, there's armament, then there's armament hardening, you know, when they go all black and stuff. I don't know if Sanji can use that, because I remember Oda stated his specialty was observation hockey, so maybe he just never learned it. You have the obligatory moment where Reiju tries to get on my good side again. Like, oh, well, Sanji, oh my god, he's a beast. I can't believe he's so strong. Nah, bitch, he was laughing at him. You don't have the right to talk about him. Keep Sanji name out your mouth, ho. I don't like you no more. He was my favorite, man. He was my favorite, Reiju. So, of course, we get to my favorite part of the chapter, chapter my man, Sanji. 
Oh, yeah, you know what it is. Diablo Jambe. <laughs> I lost it. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't stand it. I had to read the chapter like seven times because I didn't really understand what was happening. But Sanji hit Sanji hit him with the Diablo Jambo. And then, you know, of course, his father on some punk shit, cheating, using technology, and what all that other. We, Sanji don't need none of that stuff, but that's the reason why he even stopped Sanji's kick because Sanji hit him with the Kolia Shotta. Right? And his father <laughs> grabbed his foot and threw him. And bro, one night I noticed this whole fight, Sanji was tanking everything he threw at him. Bro. He grabbed his foot, threw him down. Sanji was like, okay, dust off. His father hit him with the, the electromagnetic shock attack. But Sanji was skip rocking across to the Grandma 66 island. So what? You know, you see him, you, you couldn't even knock the cigarette out of his mouth, dog. You ain't fucking with Sanji. But Sanji had this fight in the bag and he was done dirty. His dad, you know, all, I guess all the Vien smokes are some bitches because we saw Ichiji do it too. You know, we call it, like, oh, hey, come wall. And then they take the head for him. Sanji being the cool, chivalrous, you know, cool cat that he is, he didn't want to kick the dude. He's like, yo, get the hell out of the way. And he was done dirty, bro. His dad would have ate that Diablo Jambi to the face, dog. Sanji was about to end this dude. The dude was standing away. He got stabbed through him. He died for, for a sparring match. Sanji got hit with a blast. Still didn't put him down. And then you got the main man, just Sanji chilling. He's like, oh, whatever. You people standing in my family. I don't really have to prove. There was no reason for Sanji to go all out in this fight. There was no reason for Sanji to even, even try to seriously win this fight, but fucking whatever, it happened. And then the, the chapter concludes with um, basically, you know, his dad tell him, look, I don't fucking like Big Mom either, but I ain't about to give her one of my sons. I'm gonna give her you, because I still don't consider you a son, which is some fucked up shit. Because at first he was like, oh, Sanji, I'm your father. And then he showed his true colors, Jaji a snake, he an asshole. He would really even care about Sanji. And then Raju, you, you see, you, you almost got some points, Raju. You. you almost got some points, and then you're going to slap that thing on his wrist and put a bomb on my man's hands, man? Come on, man. Uh, I ain't fucking with the Venus smokes right now. Raju is the only one I like. I don't like you people. I hate you. All of you. But, you know, this puts Sanji in a bad situation because now Sanji can't leave if he tries to leave the island. The bomb's going to go off. And even if it doesn't kill him, it's gonna, he's going to lose his hands. I think that's the thing, to take away his hands. So, there's, there's, there's literally nothing he can do now. Now he has to wait for Luffy or Big Mom. And Big Mom has the key. And that's why I say he has to wait for Luffy. Because Sanji's not going to fight Big Mom. She's a woman. Unless, I'm telling you, I would die if Sanji just gets on some shit. He's like, you know, I said I never hit a lady. But you ain't no lady. Oh, and he kicks Big Mom and he takes her key. And he fights her. What, what, how cool would it be to see Luffy and Sanji team up on a Yonko? Uh, but Big Mom's a woman, so I don't know how that's going to work. And by the way, have you seen what Sanji thinks Big Mom looks like? It's hilarious. It's, 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 I can't wait till he actually sees her. Ah, but uh, yeah, no, this chapter was cool. It was just so much Sanji, so much Sanji over. It's been it's been a while since we had like a Sanji dedicated anything. Oh man, he's just such a cool character. I can't wait to see more about him. Yeah, we're learning about his family, but fuck his family. That's 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 how that's how I see it right now. Anyway, we'll see what happens next week in next week's episode of One Piece. Soulfish reviews. <laughs> Until then, it's your boy Soulfish. Peace.